Hello, Paul Hamilton here. We're looking at today physics. So we'll get started with a horizontal. We're just exploring where the physics, where you can find it and where you can apply it. So what we might do is zoom right in here. We'll tap on our sign. We'll tap on it one more time and we'll delete it. And we might just use the cube that's in there at the moment. Okay, so at the moment, if I tap on the cube, we get all of our different things. So we've got our physics down the bottom, but if we tap off it, we're just on the world physics. So if we look at the scene physics here, um, we can have a look at how things kind of collide with the ground. We can even look at our gravity. You can see my gravity here going up and down and you can increase the gravity to make things a little bit more anchored to the ground. Or if you're building a tower, for example, and it's wobbling, you might increase the gravity to make it a little bit more um, stable um, and kind of anchored down to the ground. And it's a great way for kids to look at gravity. So we're gonna leave that as it is at the moment. Um, so we've got our scene physics on. We're gonna tap on our cube. I might just make this gold so you can see it a little bit better. Maybe bronze, that's a little bit better there. And we're going to raise it. So in the last tutorial, we looked at how to move objects around. So if I hold my finger down on that green, we're going to raise it up a little bit. Then we're also gonna tap on our green and we're just gonna rotate it around, get used to it. We'll tap on our red arrow and we might just rotate that around on that axis as well. So we've actually kind of got a little bit of a dice if you like, and we're gonna apply some physics to it. So it's really, really easy. Let's tap on our cube, go right down the bottom and tap on participates in the physics. Now it's gonna ask a couple of things. First thing it says motion type. If it's fixed and we don't want it to move, but we want some physics applied, we just leave it at fixed, but we don't. We wanna tap that and make that dynamic and we can actually say, well, what do we want the material uh, to actually be? So we might put it on rubber for now and see how that looks. We're going to leave the collision shape as box down the bottom. So we normally leave that as default. And now we've actually, what we've done is we've actually said to the cube, uh, you've got some physics applied. So you've got gravity in the scene um, and it should react like a cube that is rubber. Um, that kind of reacts with the ground. So let's have a look. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see. When I press play at the top next to the AR, when I press play, it will actually apply and play the scene with the physics. So let's play it. And you can see there that it's kind of bouncing around a little bit. If I was to lift it up a little bit more and I was to press play, you can see there that it doesn't kind of bounce too much. So I'd encourage you now to tap on that cube and let's change a few things. First thing we wanna change down the bottom is, we'll just have a look at that. Yeah, rubber's good, that should actually work. Let's get off that and let's apply the scene physics and say the material on the ground is actually rubber. And what happens if we reduce the gravity? So therefore kind of, we're getting closer to space where there's no gravity. What do we think that cube will do? Well, if we press play now, you can see there that it's bouncing around and it doesn't stop because there's no forces being applied to it. And so we can change that. Eventually that will actually go down and it'll stop, but you can see the difference there from the first and the second ones. So that's physics, how to apply objects to physics and how to set your physics in your environment. A little hot tip that if I tap on my cube and I tap it again and duplicate, what that actually does is it also duplicates the physics. So if I press play there, it's gonna have the similar physics to the one next to it. And you can see there that it's kind of mirroring because it's actually got the same ones and then it gradually gets apart and so forth. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.